So today I'm going to be working with Colt. Uh, Colt's been with us now for a few weeks and uh, he's got a little bit of a habit of jumping up and using my leg as a springboard, which clearly isn't, uh, isn't a great behaviour. So what we're going to do today is we're going to help Colt uh, choose another behaviour that gives him the same access, the same reinforcer he wants. So Colt wants me, or wants access attention, etc. when he jumps up. So, um, we don't want to take that attention, we don't want to take that reinforcer away. So I'm not going to replace that with something else. So he can uh, get access to me, but what I'd like him to do is choose a different behaviour, and one that's not going to hurt me or any potential, uh, any other, anybody else, or frighten anybody else. So, first thing we need is a clicker and some treats. All I'm doing is walking around, Colt's coming towards me. As soon as he gets towards me and his four feet are on the floor, once he's finished sniffing, uh, I'm going to click, so we'll wait now. I'm not uh, encouraging him to come over, this is totally up to him. So as you can see, he's quite involved in the environment at the moment, so that's really good. And he's found the treat, I think. So this is a win-win doing it in this environment because he gets a chance to use his nose as well. Uh, and as we know, dogs use up to 35% of the brain when they're processing uh, smell like this. So it's a really good exercise. So he's still sniffing around quite a bit there, but that's fine. And is he going to come over to me? And we'll walk away. Yeah, there we go. So just about half a step away from me, I'm going to click, and I'm going to drop the treat on the floor. So what this starts to do is Colt starts to realise that if he comes towards somebody, meets somebody, and keeps his feet on the floor like he's there, it means he's going to get access potentially to something really good. Now, I know he wants attention, wants touch, but at the moment, we're not going to do that. We're just going to phase that in gradually. So I'm just walking around the field as we are now. Uh, as soon as Colt's finished that, he's coming across to me, and there you go. As soon as he gets close to me, I'm clicking and dropping the treat down there, and you can see it's a double, it's a good exercise, a double whammy. He's also getting to use his nose, so here we go again. So we need to be doing this consistently until our dog is consistently coming up to us, keeping their uh, four paws on the floor. You need to really start this uh, in quite a sterile environment. Colt's done a little bit of work on this over the last few days, so we're able to do it in the field. But I would recommend that if you've never done it before, uh, you use a really sterile environment such as the house and where he's really used to uh, working and there's not a lot of stimulus going on. Once your dog can do that, what we're then looking for is uh, we're going to just add a tiny bit of duration into this exercise and we're going to let, give Colt the choice of the behaviour he shows. So watch what we do now. Yeah, good boy. I've never ever asked him to sit. He's just selected or chosen to sit. So as soon as he does sit, I'm going to click and I'm going to give him access to the reward. So I'm still treating him at the moment, but when your dog's consistently approaching you and offering you that behaviour, it doesn't have to be a sit, it could be just a look at you, it could be a lie down, it could be absolutely anything that your dog chooses. There we go. I'm going to drop the treat down again. So when your dog's consistently doing that, you can then start to add a little bit of variation. So here we go. So then I'm going to touch him and then move away. When you do touch, make sure you don't fuss them up. Just a gentle touch to start with. And then back to the clicking. And there we go. So what happens over time is that your dog, as in Colt, is starting to learn that if he chooses that behaviour that he's chosen, the sit, he is going to get access potentially to what he wants, whether that's food or a cuddle or a bit of attention. There we go. So... Colt's default approach to people, as we would uh, as we would say, is is one of okay. I'm going to approach. I'm going to sit, and I'm going to do that. So, um, as with anything, consistency, time, environment are all key factors. But this is just a very brief introduction, and one of the exercises you can do um, for a dog that jumps up. It's all about choices here. So I'm not forcing him to learn anything at all. Uh, we've never rehearsed the sit. He just chose that. And here we go. We'll just finish off on a nice one. Good boy.